Hello, little woman fans. Today's comment shoutout goes to Azul, who left this comment to my article, Why Joe and Lori Don't End Up Together. Quote, As a person who has only seen the 2019 movie and the 2017 series, I am very grateful for this article. I really liked the story in Little Woman, but I always wondered why Cho wasn't in love with Lori, especially since they seemed to get along pretty well. Now, I see that everything makes sense thanks to your enlightenment regarding the missing details found in the original source. I am very surprised that why they left many of Lori's traits out of the films. Thank you for this piece, very deep, informative and well written. Thank you, asshole. Lori is one of the most complicated characters in Little Woman and it is sad that so many of the things that are part of his personality have been erased by the filmmakers because not only does these characteristics of him explain why Jo re rejects him and why she falls in love with Friedrich but also why he falls in love with Amy and she to him. When people study Louisa May Alcott's life where they then hobbyists or schoolers People choose an area that they are interested in, and one of the areas that I study is the literature that Louisa May Alcott liked to read, and how these certain storylines from these books can be found from Little Woman. And when I started that research, I quite soon came to the conclusion that Louisa May Alcott planned both Joe's and Friedrich's marriage and Amy's and Laurie's marriage years before she wrote Little Woman. They all can be found from the books that she read as a young person. For example, Joe and Frick type of relationship can be found from Susan Warner's book White White World and that book appeared when Louisa was about 18 years old and if we believe her journals around that time she fell in love to her friend Henry David Thoreau and in Susan Warner's book there's a spirited young woman who falls in love to her older male friend who, who also happens to be a philosopher. When people complain that Little Woman is sentimental, I recommend to read White White World. It is a hundred times more sentimental than Little Woman. And it was one of the things that I struggled when I was reading it. Another John Friedrich story would be the story of Eliza and Charles Fallen. And that was a book that Louisa read at the age of 12. The real life story of an American female writer who falls in love to a German immigrant. The connection there is so obvious, no one can argue with that. But then there are also the Laurie and Amy stories. A Laurie story can be traced to Louis's favorite book, Wilhelm Meister's Apprenticeship. Wilhelm is a very similar character to Laurie. He wants to run away and become an actor, but his father wants him to take on the family business. And then in Little Woman, Laurie wants to run away and become a musician, like his mother, but his grandfather wants him to take on the family business. Wilhelm starts out having an affair with Mariana and then moves on to Natalia. And there's a scene in Wilhelm Meister where Natalia and Wilhelm are in the garden and he confesses his love to her. And the teenage Louisa May Alcott has spent there, word beautiful. So when people say that, oh, Alcott didn't want to marry Joe to Larry, so she just married him to Amy and Friedrich to Joe in the last minute. I digress. I think the only way that Joe would have ended up with Laurie is if Louisa May Alcott would have married Lady Wisniewski and that never happened. She considered it, but rightfully turned him down. Then Friedrich is based on her first love, Henry, partially. One of the themes in Wilhelm Meister is the idea that the male character grows as an individual when he moves on from Mariana to Natalia, because the next relationship is the one that brings peace to him. As you hear me reading this following chapter, where Laurie proposes Amy, you can see how he is very indecisive and his mood changes from 1 to 100 very fast. Join the book also has mood changes when she was younger and when Laurie starts to harass Joe, and they are in their, in their early 20s at that point, Mommy says to Joe that she doesn't think that Joe and Laurie are a good match because they are so similar. And that's when Joe travels to New York because Laurie was harassing her and she doesn't want to be around him. And for some unexplainable reason, Little Woman films between 1933 and 2019, Joe goes to New York after Laurie has proposed her. But in the book, proposal happens when Joe has returned and she has started to fall for Friedrich and even defends him when Laurie proposes and he's badmouthing Friedrich. And that's not in any Little Woman movies. And what I've heard from Joe and Laurie Shippers, 
who only watch the films, they are like, they expect Joe to come back and say yes to Laurie. But that was not the reason she went to New York. She went to New York because Laurie made her feel uncomfortable. And he's very demanding in the book when he proposes, very aggressive. So it's very different to 1994 and 2019 films. My personal favorite is the 1933 film where Laurie is very demanding when he proposes. And that is a lot closer to the novel. And Laurie is not a bad person in the novel. It just goes to show that he had a very different relationship with Joe than with Amy. He and Joe made pranks, they were more like brothers, but Joe also had a very maternal relationship to him, and few listeners have told me that they had experiences of dating somebody and being in this group of boys where women wanted to be like the guy so they will be so they are accepted by them. And because there was some misogyny among those boys and even the girls in these groups, these women they tried to hide their feminine side and made fun of other girls and how they would relate to Joe that she wanted to leave that environment and actually explore her femininity a bit more and this reminded me of something that one of my friends said uh, she had been on the town and she saw her ex with his new girlfriend and the way he was looking at her my friend said that she had never seen him so happy and and he never was that happy with her I think that pretty much sums up how Joe and Laurie can't give each other what they need. Joe wants an intellectual connection and somebody who she is very attracted to and who helps her to become a better writer and wants a big family. And that's Fritz. Uh, Laurie, for, at first, wants Joe so he can stay the same. But what he really needs is somebody who admires him but also tells him when he's not being the best version of himself. A lot of people could actually benefit for seeing Laurie's growth process how he does manages to change and a lot of that is thanks to Amy. How many have been in bad relationships and then found another relationship where not only they feel good about the other person but themselves as well. This is really the missed message in Little Woman. And Greta Gerwig even said that she wanted to portray a little woman as a way to dismiss romantic love and marriage. First of all, Gerwig herself is married and second, that doesn't at all align with Louisa May Alcott's views on marriage when she writes that marriage should be taken very seriously and that, quote, tempers and minds should go together in harmony. It is such a terrible misreading of the novel that the 2019 film didn't show Laurie doing any work for Amy and it just seemed that he moved on Joe to Amy without any reason and there wasn't any personal growth and then showing Joe and Friedrich arguing when in the novel Joe and Friedrich don't argue, the narrator mentions that, that Friedrich had the ability to calm Joe, unlike Laurie who makes Joe feel very agitated. There is also a scene where Joe says to Laurie, and I'm paraphrasing here, Amy so good for you, we always argue, you, you two never seem to argue. Then there is my favorite quote from Gerwig, being very sarcastic now. Laurie wants Joe to step into the world of adulthood. Those of you who have not read A Little Woman, listen to this chapter that I'm going to read to you next. How on earth can anyone come to the conclusion that Laurie is an adult here and Joe is immature? How is that even possible? Gerwig must have read some imaginary version of Little Woman. It's exactly what Azul said. I really liked the story in Little Woman, but I always wondered why Cho wasn't in love with Laurie, especially since they seemed to get along pretty well. I'm surprised that they left many of Laurie's traits out of the films. Thank you so much for listening. Link to the full episode, Laurie's proposal to Amy, deep analysis, is in the description. Take care and make good choices. Bye.